Lever guns always have been and always will be cool, though they will never again be cheap, nor, barring divine intervention, will they ever again be produced in Gun Valley. Talking about the top lever action rifles is a bit tricky. Do you focus on the best of all time, which is great for us nostalgic sorts, or do you talk about great lever action rivals that you can buy new? Find out as you watch through the best of the best that we have for you today. Number 10. Marlin 1895 $1,500 When Ruger resurrected Marlin, the first model they brought back was the 1895 SBL. This was a smart move because the SBL, with its gray laminate furniture, stainless steel metal, threaded barrel, oversized lever loop, and Picatinny rail, was one of the sexiest and most sought-after iterations of this classic lever action. We had good things to say about the Marlin 1895 SBL when it was reintroduced in late 2021, and that opinion hasn't shifted. It is the best lever action rifle produced under the Marlin brand, at least in the modern era. Packing 6 plus 1 rounds of 4570 government in this mag, it brings a formidable level of firepower to the party, which is why it has garnered a lot of interest from hunters in bear country, as well as with everyday sportsmen in more sedate parts of the US. Marlin has also introduced two new versions of the 1895 worth considering, a model 1895 Trapper and a model 1895 Guide Gun. The Trapper comes with a skinnier peep sight, no Picatinny rail, and is a bit more compact, 34 and a quarter inch versus 37 and a quarter inch than the SBL. It too is chambered in 4570 and has a 5 plus 1 magazine capacity. The Guide Gun model GBL is slightly less expensive than the SBL. $1,239 versus $1,479, has traditional semi-buckhorn sights, blued steel, is chambered in 4570 and a 6 plus 1 capacity. Number 9. Henry All-Weather Picatinny Rail, 4570 Sidegate, $1,350 It didn't seem that long ago that Henry Repeating Arms was only making Golden Boys chambered in pistol cartridges and 22s. But these guys have been busy, and as the company embarks on its second quarter century, they have added an impressive number of products to the lineup. One of the flagship hunting rifles is the all-weather Picatinny Rail 4570 Sidegate, which is Henry's version of a do-everything guide gun. As the name implies, it is built for the elements. The metal has a hard chrome satin finish. The stock is a stained hardwood. It has an aperture peep sight mounted at a rear of the substantial Picatinny Rail. Henry outfitted it with an oversized lever loop. With the 18.43-inch barrel, the overall length is 37.5 inches, and it has a 4 plus 1 capacity. The rifle can be loaded either through the side gate on the receiver or by dropping rounds into the tubular mag. This is a versatile and capable thumper that is equally at home in bear country or in a deer stand overlooking a food plot. Number 8. Winchester Model 94 $2,230 The Winchester Model 1873 might have been the gun that won the West, a great bit of marketing by Winchester executives, but the Model 94 is undeniably the rifle that won the hearts and minds of generations of deer hunters. If you pulled long-time hunters regarding their choice as the top lever action rifle, there's little doubt the Winchester 94 would win the vote. This was the most prolific of Winchester's lever actions, being the first sporting rifle in the U.S. to sell a million units. Prior to the end of its domestic production in 2006, more than 7 million Model 94s were produced. Model 94s are still being made for Browning Winchester by Miroki Corps in Japan and are available in several different grades. These run from the basic carbine, $1,309, with its plain walnut stock and brushed polished blue metal, to the deluxe sporting $2,230, which has case color hardened metalwork, upgraded wood, nicely executed checkering, and a half round, half octagonal deeply blue barrel. Currently, the 94 is being offered in 3030 Win. 3855 and 450 Marlin. Number 7. Browning BLR, $1,500. The Browning BLR is one of the most versatile lever actions on the market. It is available in both short and long action lengths, and because it feeds from a detachable box mag, it is able to run pointy Spitzer style bullets in cartridges usually associated with bolt guns. The lightweight 81 stainless takedown is the most utilitarian BLR of them all making it the best lever action rifle in the BLR family. It breaks down into two pieces for easy transport and is built on a lightweight aluminum receiver and a sports stainless steel barrel for excellent weather resistance. At about 7.25 pounds, depending on the specific chambering, it has a very nice balance and feel. Combined with its smooth lever system, which uses a clever gear and pinion design, 
The BLR embodies the lithe, fast handling characteristics that lever action fans admire. We'd be remiss if we didn't give a nod to the legendary Winchester Model 88, which was a game-changing lever action from which the BLR drew lots of inspiration. The lightweight 81 takedown is currently chambered in 243 Win, 6.5 Creedmoor, 7mm 08 Remington, 308 Win, 300 WSM, 306, and 300 Win Mag. Several other cartridges are available in other BLR models as well. Number 6 Marlin 336, $1250. It's difficult for us to express how happy we are to include the Marlin 336 among the top lever action rifles currently made. We know we're not alone in this. We cut our teeth hunting deer with a Marlin 336 and 35 Remington, so as with countless other hunters, the 336 was our first love. We've handled and put a few rounds through one of the new 336s, which will initially be chambered in 3030 win, and its quality was spot on. As with the 1895s, the 336s have excellent fit and finish, run smoothly, and are aesthetically pleasing. As for timing, expect to see the first Marlin 336s shipping mid to late spring. The 35 rem is in the hopper, but those of us craving the return of that chambering will have to wait until later this year. Also, don't be surprised to see the 336 offered in Remington's 360 Buckhammer in 2023 as well. Number 5. Henry Golden Boy, $650 As you history buffs probably know, the original Henry Lever Action was the first commercially successful lever action rifle. Originally chambered in 44 rimfire, it was one of the most advanced firearms to see action during the Civil War and was fielded in limited numbers by Union troops. Confederate Colonel John Mosby is credited with cursing it as that damned Yankee rifle that can be loaded on Sunday and fired all week after fighting against troops wielding it in battle. That unintentional endorsement stuck and helped propel the Henry to everlasting fame. Henry makes a new original Henry chambered in either 4440 WCF or 45 Colt, though the most popular and affordable homage is the Henry Golden Boy Rimfire, which can be had in 22 SL, LR, 22 Mag, or 17 HMR. In 22 LR, the most popular configuration, the rifle holds 16 rounds, the same as the original. It has a 20-inch octagonal barrel that is nicely blued and contracts sharply with the bright, brass-light finished receiver and brass butt pad and barrel band. The receiver comes drilled and tapped for a scope, but before you mount an optic on yours, spend some time running it with semi-buckhorn sights, as the creator intended. These golden boys run like a scalded squirrel and can digest ammo by the brick over the course of an afternoon. As the first gun for a youngster, it has no real equal, but its appeal is so strong that no one will fault you for buying one for your grown-up self first. Number 4. Marlin 1894 the Marlin 1894 was hot stuff when it was introduced back in the day. It was the first lever gun with a flat top, side eject design that anticipated the eventual widespread adoption of telescopic sights on rifles. This innovation gave it a leg up, on paper anyway, compared to the Winchester 1894, which debuted at the same time, though the fact that the Winchester came in the potent 3030 versus the less powerful offerings in the Marlin gave Winchester's 1894 a decisive advantage. The Marlin 1894 has been chambered in a variety of mostly pistol caliber cartridges over the decades, the most common of which, in the modern era, included the 44 SPL 44 Magnum, 38 SPL 357 Magnum, and 45 Colt. Ruger announced the return of the Marlin 1894 this spring, so we will hopefully have hands on range time with one soon for a full review. Expect to see the first offerings in the cartridges mentioned earlier but as details become available, we'll update you with more information. Number 3. POF USA Tombstone – $2,000 Guess what? The Tombstone doesn't give a damn about your nostalgic attachment to the past. This new arrival has turned a lot of heads with its uber-modern take on the lever-action rifle. Chambered in 9mm, it feeds via detachable 10 or 20 round mags, the same ones POF uses on their Phoenix pistol. The 16.5-inch barrel is free-floated, threaded half to 28, and comes with a dual port muzzle brake that isn't really necessarily but complements the Tombstone's tactical vibe. Truth is, it is just a placeholder for a suppressor which elevates the Tombstone's fun factor by an order of magnitude. The forend has a couple Picatinny rail sections, as well as numerous M-lock slots, so there is no shortage of places to mount accessories. The receiver is topped with a Picatinny rail as well, and includes an integrated XS Ghost Ring sight. 
It runs Magpul's SGA870 buttstock, which includes two flush attachment points for a sling and a grip angle that is much steeper than is typical on a lever action. The tombstone is about 36 inches long and has an advertised weight of 5 and 3 quarter pounds, which makes it handy and quick to wield. The base black model is $1,962, while the FDE version runs $2,097. The tombstone isn't cheap, but there's no shortage of shooters looking to throw down their money to get one. Number 2. Bond Arms Lever Action $1,500 This interesting rifle isn't available quite yet. The company hopes to launch it later in 2023 but we wanted to include it since it is an excellent example of the lever action's enduring appeal. The idea of this rifle is simple, an AR-15 compatible lever action lower than can run a standard upper. The execution of it is quite complex, however, and involves a lot of innovation, particularly in the linkage system to get the appropriate leverage and timing to cycle 30 round mags. The throw on the lever is short for quick cycling, but features a variety of camming forces to extract rounds from the chamber and strip rounds packed tight in higher capacity mags. From just the mechanical standpoint, this is a fascinating design. Bond expects to offer this rifle as a complete system for about $1,500, though final pricing is TBD as the company works to bring this concept to production. As with the POF Tombstone, the Bond Arms lever action uses the Magpul SGA870 buttstock, meaning any Remington 870 compatible stock can be swapped in its place. Another cool feature is the rifle's user-configurable lever loop that allows the shooter to swap to a larger loop if desired. In fact, this rifle's AR-15 mix-and-match modularity promises to spawn interesting configurations as shooters experiment with the platform. Number 1. Winchester 1886 $2,000 This was the first big boy lever action in history. The Winchester 1886 changed the game because its strong locking block action was able to handle proper rifle cartridges rather than the pistol rounds that previous lever action designs were limited to. It was originally chambered in 4570 and 4590, two rounds you can still get it in. Over the years it was loaded for other hard hitting rounds like the 5110 Winchester and 33 WCF. Those rounds, combined with its excellent handling characteristics, made the Model 1886 the first true big game capable lever action. Today, you can order it in a saddle ring carbine configuration, $1,650, with a 22-inch barrel, in short rifle trim, $1,500, with a 24-inch round barrel, or go all out with the fancy deluxe case hardened model, $2,000, with a 24-inch octagonal barrel, upgraded walnut and color case hardened receiver. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.